please stop saying this is like 2007. It is nothing like 2007. If someone tells you that or you see a comment somewhere, oh yeah, we're going to crash like 2007 and 8. Just know that person is not very educated and that's not someone you should be listening to, okay? That's all I'm going to say on that. Things are kind of boring, okay? When it gets this hot out, we've been 116 for I don't know. It feels like forever. And so people just don't want to go outside. Okay. So our showings on listings has been very low unless you are offering like a $300,000 single family home and it's fully remodeled in the heart of Scottsdale, then okay. People are getting out of bed for that, right? By the way, you can reach out to me. I can put you on my email list and then you don't have to suffer through my videos, but um, I, I post these on my social media too. So Anyhow, I make these every month, but right now, you guys, I would say we're definitely in a balanced market and the second half of 2024 is definitely expected to be better as far as mortgage rates go. Okay. So typically I will say in the fall, it's better to be a buyer because you have more negotiating power, right? Because when someone lists their home in the fall and around the holidays, they typically have to sell because otherwise you don't really have people coming through your home when you're celebrating, you know, Thanksgiving and all of that good stuff and you're doing all your kid things, et cetera, et cetera. So anyhow, if rates drop though, it might be a little bit tougher in this fall to be a buyer because you're going to see more competition than you probably normally do. Right. And so um, this time around, as they said, analysts are not expecting more drama because you guys, last year from July to October, we went up from seven to eight percent. And that was when like buyers were so scarce. Right. I mean, who was paying those that monthly mortgage rate? Right. It was super, super stressful, it was super hard for people to come up with that money. And it's still a hard market. Right. You know, rates going up is really doing what they're wanting it to do. Now, prices are not coming down, but our overall quantity of sales has plummeted dramatically, right? People are just not buying homes because they can't afford them. And a lot of people aren't listing their home because they don't know where to go or because they're at a 3% rate. So they're like, why am I going to go to a 7% rate? But rates are actually in the high sixes right now. So you guys, rates are getting better and they're saying they're going to be dropping in September again. Who knows if that'll happen, but Anyhow, this is just saying that they're expecting a little bit of a busier buyer season in the fall. And you guys, I will say we're definitely considered a balanced market now. And if you are using an FHA or a VA loan, or you have a really low down payment and you're looking for some government help, you used to get kind of laughed out, right? FHA and VA have harder appraisal processes. And so conventional and cash always win. And right now, if you have an FHA or a VA loan, you're having a better time being able to get into a home. So that is one tip that I will hey, say. Thanks for joining me. I'm Andrea Sheppy, a Phoenix native and a full-time award-winning realtor out here in Phoenix. I really appreciate you watching this video. I know your time is valuable, so I'm really grateful. So let's dive right in and let me uh, share my screen. So for a seller, 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 sellers, 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 if you're a seller, your home is not worth double the price it was a year and a half ago or two years ago even though you bought it in 2019 and it doubled during COVID, that is not what's happening. And right now it is very difficult to get sellers to understand that. Okay. So sellers, you have to be realistic. There are so many homes that are listed and they've been sitting. I talked to the listing agents and I'm like, Hey, are, you know, we're not going to come in full price. Oh, well, my sellers are really set, blah, blah, blah. And they're sending me comps from like eight months ago from a home that was built like last year. And I'm just thinking, what the heck are you doing? Like, this isn't even, this is not the same home. Your home is not worth that. And so I guess you're going to sit for another, you know, three or four months till it cancels out. And then someone else comes in, drops the price. And there you go. But all I'm saying is sellers are still having a really hard time grasping the fact that we're not buyers aren't falling out of their chairs to overpay for their home, right? So if your home has a funky smell, if your carpet's old, if you have a bunch of paint scratches on the wall, like you guys, you got to clean up your home, right? And get, make sure your light bulbs are all matching. Make sure it's nice and bright. People like natural light, okay? The only people that I've ever heard that don't like brightness is maybe a little bit of the older, um, some of the baby boomers, right? They like it a little bit darker, but 
pretty much everyone else wants bright light, right? They want natural light. They want to feel alive, <laughs> right? So make sure you're using the more of the white in your light bulbs and not like the dingy yellow because it's also going to make your walls look dirty. So anyhow, there are nine cities and buyers markets in greater Phoenix, mostly the West Valley and Pinal County. West Valley, you guys, Surprise, Buckeye, Avondale, okay? There's so many new builds out there. They're really having a hard time with resale homes because you can go and get a much lower rate and incentives from a new build home. So, you know, if you're listing your home, you really got to look around at what's being built around you. And Pinal County is going to be like Santan Valley and some border areas of Lower Queen Creek, okay? So if you're selling out there, it's in a buyer's market right now. There's a lot of homes in like the five hundred dollars to $700,000 range. So if that's what you're looking to purchase, then you're going to have some negotiating power. And if that's what you're looking to list at, then you better have your boots on tight and just be ready to, um, you know, go to market at a good price and just know that people are going to ask you for money back and uh, don't overprice it or they're going to go buy your neighbor's house, right? So you got to be competitive. You know, our median sales price is up 1.9% from last year, price per square foot, which I hate, but it's up 2.6% for the year from June to June, okay? Again, mortgage rates are in a downward trend, which will improve demand, but I think we need to see rates in the high fives till we really get a jump on demand. That's kind of my personal. Supply is higher than last year, okay, but it's still well below normal if you're looking at long-term standards. And again, most of our supply is on the outskirts of the valley, okay? So again, Buckeye, Santan Valley, um, where all the new builds are. But if you have a great home and you're in like central Phoenix or you're in Scottsdale, you're in Tempe, you know, Ahwatukee, and your home is really looking nice, then you're probably not going to see some of these days on market and some of this, um, you know, dragging out of negotiations, right? Because there's not a lot. Let's do a so quick overall. Okay, guys, the overall median price for June, now this is everything, was $475. So we're up almost a percent from last year. Where's the crash everyone's talking about? I don't know. It's not here. It's not in Phoenix, at least not right now. And the resale median price, you guys, so those are homes that are not brand new, is at $465. That's up 3.3% from a year ago. So again, there is no crash, at least not anytime soon, right? Again, maybe this election stuff will you know, trigger something. I don't know. But as of right now, there is no crash on the horizon. Now, new homes have come down a bit. So they were at 503. They're down about 3% from last year and 3% from last month. So really, it's just in the last month, they've kind of seen a hit. But what builders will do, and this is why everyone's like, we're going to have this crazy crash. Well, builders out here, you guys are very educated, okay? We were a huge hit back in 2007, 8, 9, 10, right? Builders like the city of Maricopa was a ghost town and there were so many empty new homes for sale. These builders, you guys are savvy and they are smart. They are not going to go through that again. So if they're not selling their homes, you know what they're going to do? They're not going to release new lots. They're not going to start selling new homes, a plot over, right? They're going to wait and sell what they have and they're still upping their prices. So distressed properties, you guys, which are foreclosures, it's very, very low. There is no foreclosure crisis coming. Most people who, who all of a sudden, maybe they lose a job or you know, something happens with medical emergency and they're out of money. They're just selling their home. They're moving in with family or they're moving to Pinal County. They're moving to Casa Grande. They're moving to Yuma. They're moving somewhere more affordable, right? Because people can work remotely. You can homeschool. You can do school remotely. So we don't have the same issues that we had back in 07. And that leads me to the average credit rating of all of these successful home buyers. So closed homes have been higher than they've ever been okay, so we do not have the lending risk that was in 2007. So please stop saying this is like 2007, it is nothing like 2007. If someone tells you that, or you see a comment somewhere, oh, yeah, we're gonna crash like 2007 and eight, just know that person is not very educated, and that's not someone you should be listening to. Okay, that's all I'm gonna say on that. So even if we were in a full on buyer's market, if you come to market with a really aggressive price and your home looks amazing, you're going to get multiple offers and sell over list price. OK, that's how it's always been. And we're still seeing that in certain really hot spots of the valley. OK, 
So let's talk about the number of active listings have been rising since the start of the year. Okay. So there was a little bit of, of like, oh my gosh, we might actually hit a lot of inventory. We might totally switch to a buyer's market. Like this is really crazy, right? Because we kept slowly rising. But ever since May, it's kind of, it keeps peaking at like 18,000. Everything that comes in over that is going under contract. New ones come out, they go under contract. So we're kind of stagnant around the 18,000, which is really nice because remember during COVID, we were at like 4,000 and 5,000 homes. That's what caused all the bidding wars. There was nothing for sale. 3% interest rates are being offered. Everyone wanted a home. Everyone kept bidding, bidding, bidding. And that's, you know, one of the huge factors in uh, driving up our price back then, right? So we're not really having, we're not having that now really at all. So uh, but keep in mind, we're still 75% below a normal inventory amount, okay? So pre-COVID, we were still like 20 to 25,000, and that was a normal balanced market. So we're still below a normal inventory, okay? Talk about the market index, okay? So over 100 is going to be better for sellers. Under 100 is better for buyers. Around 100 is very much in balance. Now, this is across all price points, all square footage, and all types of homes. So take this very loosely, but it does still show you the hotter areas of town, right? Where people are, are finding deals and wanting to live. Okay. So Chandler, again, um, Chandler, definitely in a seller's market for the most part, there's still homes in Chandler with price drops and that have been sitting for a while, right? Because maybe they're really gross inside and the backyard is just like nasty dirt and it needs to be, you know, gutted, but they're wanting like 600 grand for it, right? So those are the things that you have to still keep in mind. But in general, if you have a, a basic home at a decent price point, it's in decent condition, you probably have the advantage as a seller in Chandler, okay? Now let's go down to the bottom, outskirts of town, Buckeye, Maricopa, Queen Creek, Cave Creek, Goodyear, Surprise, okay? These are all buyer's markets. And that's what I've been saying. You can get good deals out there because you can either get a new build or you can buy a resale home that's competing with new builds. And so they're going to be aggressive and wanting to get your, uh, I don't want to say your business, but they're going to be aggressive and wanting to work with you because it's harder to sell when you're surrounded by new builds. Everything else, you guys, so Paradise Valley, uh, Tempe, Gilbert, Peoria, Glendale, Scottsdale, Mesa, Phoenix, Fountain Hills, uh, well, let's say Phoenix and below. These are all pretty much in balance. I mean, you know, Phoenix, Mesa, Scottsdale, Glendale even, those are huge cities. So you have to realize that even though they say they're better for sellers, there's still a lot of negotiations and good deals to be had as a buyer, okay? Um, if you're looking in the right place. So make sure you're really following the market. You're following a realtor or a real estate agent that is following the market and the trends. That way, you know, you can look at what's happening, see how long something's been sitting, look at the other options. Anyhow, you guys, that is the uh, Cromford Market Index. All right. Thank you so much for watching my quick market update of summer 2024 for the Phoenix Metro real estate market. If you are looking to purchase a home out here or you're relocating here, or maybe you live here and you're looking to move up and get something of your own, or you're looking to sell your home, please reach out to me, call, text, find me on social media. I'm in this all day, every day. Absolutely love what I do. And you guys are all so great. So thank you again so much. Don't forget to watch some of these extra videos and um, I'll see you guys on my next video. Thank you. Skies, white powder, time, ecstasy.